So in this video, what we're going to go over is we're going to look at uh, how to put in uh, branch fittings onto your pipe. So I looked up and noticed I hadn't posted any videos in a while and I haven't posted any CADWORKS Plant Pro videos in a very long while. Well, we're going to change that today. So in CADWORKS, there's a couple ways that you can do it. So you can come over to your uh, pipe, go ahead and click on it, and you will see this little plus sign right here. Okay, so you can click on that plus sign, and by default, CADWORKS will put in a T. Uh, it's not a reducing T, it's just a regular T. So it's thinking, hey, you're going to go from one size to another size. So in this instance, we have a, here, let me rotate this around so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, a regular T. Now it will show you how far that T is coming out from your point. Okay, so right now it's coming from the weld. Um, and let's say we don't want it to come from the weld, we want to actually come from this elbow right over here. So what you can do is you can go to um, down at the bottom, you have a couple of different options. You got your point distance. So if you click on that one, you can actually just pick a point anywhere you want to, and that's where the dimension will come from. So the next thing you can do is also you can choose your uh, component distance. So if we click on that one, let's say we want to go from this elbow here. You can see that it snaps from that elbow, from the center point of that elbow, and then you can pull it out any way you want to. Now, if you want to go ahead and just put in a dimension, let's say we want it five feet from that elbow right there. We're gonna go five foot. And then it'll ask you what direction. Do we want to come off to the side? Uh, that's kind of a no-no, especially when you're in a rack. Uh, down, up, and you know, so. Let's go up because if we go down, we'll go right into the steel. So we're just going to go up. Okay. And it says, uh, because of my piping rules, it asks me, hey, do I want this exact uh, parent number of the line that we're coming off of? Or do we want to choose the line number that we uh, have set right here? So we'll just come off the parent line number. Okay. And then you just come up and you start routing, you know. Let's turn on our ortho mode and you can come up and just start routing your pipe that way. Okay. Now the other way you can, uh, what else you can do is you can click on the plus sign and you can go L for list. So your component list right here, you can click on that or you can just hit L. I'm a keyboard guy, so I kind of hit L. And then you got some other choices. You got uh, OLEDs that you can choose from. Um, and, you know, so we got our socket well, we got our weld OLEDs, we got our lateral OLEDs, we got our T's, you know, this is a straight T, and then we got a reducing T that we can choose from. Now you can see right here it says 12 by 10. So we're going to choose a 12 by 10. I'm just going to put this out here in space, and we're going to come up. And we're gonna, yes, parent number, okay. Let's go ahead and change that real quick so we don't get that error again. And so now we got a 12 by 10, okay. Now, let's say we wanted a 12 by eight, okay. The reason it's not giving us that option is inside your configuration or your setup uh, on CADWORKS, there's a piping rule called um, a branch fitting. So if you go to your piping rules and come down here to branch table rule, it's set to automatic. So whatever is in your spec um, as what can be on that, that branch is what it's going to be at. So if you have, let's say, uh, a 12 by 6, by default, uh, depending on how you have your um, spec set up, 
the 12 by 6 will probably be an OLED. It won't let you do a reducing T. Um, but sometimes you have to put in something. So you can go ahead and hit uh, this one right here if it's unlocked uh, and go to no. We don't want to match the uh, uh, table tool. So we're going to just hit apply and close and hit OK. So now if we come in here, put our plus sign, we're going to do L for, uh, and now we've got some other options in here. So you can do a T and a reducer if you want to. And so there's all your T and reducers. Um, oops, didn't mean to hit that. If we do T, we got reducing butt weld, and now we've got a couple other options. We got a 12 by 6, and a 12 by 8, and a 12 by 10. Uh, so we're going to ch choose that, 12 by 6. And we're just going to come out here arbitrarily. And you can see that we have a, uh, a 12 by 6. If you hover over it, you'll see 12 by 6 reducing T. And so there we go. So. Now, the other thing is when you come over here, you can actually put, go back to our list, and we're going to go, you've also got a stub in, if you want to do a stub in, and we're going to do, let's say, a soccer well, we're going to put a um, vent in here, so one inch, come over here, come up, and you can see that there's our OLED. And L, go to our pipe. We're going to put a nipple and give it a length, three inches. And then we're going to put gate valve. And we got a so socket well by threaded. That's what we want. Okay, come up, give it a rotation on our hand wheel. And we're going to put in a plug. Another way that you can put in your branch fittings is you can actually use your uh, spec view right over here. And so we have our size six in, uh, or 12 inch. Let's make that a little smaller so we can see. So 12, 8. So set your main size, your reduction size. And we're going to come over here and we're going to say let's put in a weld alette. And then you just pick a p point on the pipe. Uh, now I have my uh, O snaps turned on to midpoint, endpoint, and a couple other ones. Uh, so it's choosing um, your midpoint on your pipe. So we're going to click on that. But it, then it gives you the option how far do you want to come over? Uh, you can pick your midpoint or you can give it a, uh, a, a location, a, a length from that weld right there. So we'll just pick the midpoint and then we're going to come up, click on that, and then we can just go ahead and click on our plus sign on our weld alette and just start routing our pipe. Okay, so another way that you can do it is if you have your pipe okay so we got a piece of pipe coming in here okay and we're going to do our point filters real quick so we are in the y so we need to do a dot y and we're going to pick this one right here oops and we're gonna okay so here's our here's our pipe we have a piece of pipe coming down and we are going to turn off our, our field uh, O snap. And if we click this pipe, get close to that center line of the horizontal. If we click on it, it's going to tell us, uh, hey, you got two pieces of pipe here. We need a branch. What do we want to do? So we're going to choose OLED, stub in, tease, or nothing. If you don't want anything there, which kind of want something there. Uh, so we're going to just choose a T. And do we want to make it a parent uh, copy? Uh, yeah, we will for this point. Uh, we know we need to change these um, 
this line number here, but the T we want to make sure it's the right line number because it makes it easier for isogen. So that's another way that you can do your branch fittings. So there's a couple ways that you can place your branch fittings when you're coming off your pipe. You can go directly from the uh, pipe using the plus sign. You can use your um, uh, spec editor or your spec uh, view to pick your fitting to place on your pipe. Or if you're coming in with another line, you can go ahead and do it that way. It'll ask you which one you want. I hope that helps you be able to put those uh, fittings on there. Uh, we got some other videos coming up pretty soon on CADWorks Plant. Uh, if there's something else you guys would like to see, please let us know. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And please let everyone know about our channel.